There we go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to evening to morning prayers. Morning you. prayer. Don't, don't of... throw the day away. <laughs> ah, ah, the evening prayer in Japan. Um, morning <laughs> prayer in the. Uh, uh, this is uh, the 30th of May. We're remembering today uh, Josephine Butler, who was um, an extremely important social reformer in the late 19th century, uh, devoted Christian, um, but a passionate um, reformer in terms of social justice, uh, led to the all sorts of things like the rage raising of the age of consent, the dealing with human slavery, sex trafficking, um, all sorts of wonderful things that she did um, in, her, in the period of, in which she was active. And I suggest you go have a look on um, Wikipedia and go and look at the article. Um, they don't talk much about her faith, but they, it sort of pops up in snippets. And one of the most interesting things she did was she found her, her local vicar was a nice Anglican, but wasn't really talking about God that they knew. And it led her to seek God for himself, which was and to have a, engage in a personal relationship with God, which underpinned everything she did afterwards mm. uh, and took her through tragic circumstances into um, a life of wonderfully devoted social action. Anyway, morning, Paul. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. So, yes, we have. We have what do we have today? We've got we've got our psalms today. Are uh, we're using ninety three and ninety six? If you're feeling keen, you can read ninety seven later. And uh, we've got Numbers twenty two one to thirty five is the Old Testament, which we will not be reading. Uh, but yeah, that's all very fascinating. If you want to just read through that, and we're going to be reading Luke seven thirty six to end. And Rich is going to lead us through the rest of our service this morning i am indeed we're in the middle of the thy kingdom come prayer initiative because we're between ascension and pentecost we've got 24 hours of prayer um coming up from uh, churches together in redditch starting um this evening and um so here we are in this wonderful season as we remember how great our god is mm. oh lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us. And clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. A song of God's righteousness. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. Who, he who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion. Who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you, his hosts you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all your works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 93. The Lord is king and has put on glorious apparel. The Lord has put on his glory and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Your throne has been established from of old. You're from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their pounding waves. Mightier than the thunder of many waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mightier. Your testimonies are very sure. Holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forever. Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Tell out his salvation from day to day. 
Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. For all the gods of the nations are but idols. It is the Lord who made the heavens. Honour and majesty are before him. Power and splendour are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honour and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the honour due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the fields be joyful and all that is in them. Let all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord. For he comes, he comes to judge the earth. With righteousness he will judge the world and the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Brings us to our reading from Luke chapter 7, starting to read at verse 36. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with him and went he went into the Pharisee's house and took his place at the table. And a woman in the city, who was a sinner, having learned that he was eating in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster jar of ointment. She stood behind him at his feet weeping and began to bathe his feet with her tears and to dry them with her hair. Then she continued kissing his feet and anointing them with ointment. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw it, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what kind of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus spoke up and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. Teacher, he replied, speak. A certain creditor had two debtors. One owed 500 denarii and the other 50. When they could not pay, he cancelled the debts for both of them. Now, which of them will love him more? Simon answered, I suppose the one who, for whom he cancelled the greater debt. And Jesus said to him, you have judged rightly. Then, turning towards the woman, he said to Simon, do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet but she has bathed my feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore, I tell you, her sins, which were many, have been forgiven. Hence, she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little then he said to her your sins are forgiven but those who were at the table with him began to say among themselves who is this who even forgives sins and he said to the woman your faith has saved you go in peace Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. And kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit. And kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. They were faithful unto death. 
and God has given them the crown of life. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who's come to his people and set them free. He's raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. They were faithful unto death, and God has given them the crown of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Lord Jesus Christ, we read a moving passage today where Jesus reminds the woman that she has sinned a great deal. But that those sins are forgiven because she has turned to the Lord in devotion. Forgive us, Lord Jesus, where we as the church have preferred to receive people who have not sinned very much in our eyes. People like ourselves. People who already seem to be close to the Lord rather than those who are far off. And grant us grace not to be afraid to take the good news into the darkest corners. Mm. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And Lord, help us, each of us, to turn once again, to turn again and again to you. Lord, it's easy for people to think that we walk paths of consistency and constantly with you but lord you know you know our hearts you know where we turn and spiral so lord will you draw us to yourself again lord may we be as that woman who sat at your feet so lord forgive us where we turn away lord in your mercy hear our prayer Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that there have been times past where we would have much preferred to keep the alabaster jar full of perfume rather than use it in worship. Forgive us for when we've begrudged our riches to you not to the church or to an individual, but to you. Help us to make that link between our lives and our worship, whether that's our time, our talents, our money, our hearts. And Lord, we pray that our worship will be such that it will attract your presence, please you above all others. And even if it is criticized from outside, let it be criticized because it is turned towards you, not because we are failing to truly seek you, but to please ourselves. Deliver us when we are hard-hearted before you and soften our hearts and help us to be a people with a listening ear to the Spirit of God. That it may be truly said of us that we are full 
of the worship of our Saviour. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, in our reading so often, you sp spoke of, of our reaction to you turning to love for others. And Lord, we pray for the world that surrounds us. We pray for those places of turmoil and, and challenge today. There's loud and obvious things in our mind of the continuing situation in Ukraine, the, the challenges over, over um, gun law in the United States and the challenges of those families, the very immediate challenges of those families in Texas. But so many in our world whose voices are not so loud, whose challenges are just as great this day. Lord, help our love to go out. Lord, may you direct our hearts, our prayers, our action indeed, into the places where you want them. Only you can hold the whole world, but where do you want us to focus? So Lord, help us even now to, to have that yearning for places in the world, for situations that we may pray to you and with you in those situations oh lord in your mercy hear our prayer every day we do pray for the anglican church both here in and worldwide today we bring before the lord amble coach and we pray for them as they look uh, at their mission to the wider parish and for their congregations as they re-establish a regular pattern of worship and for their ALM Sue Boex. Bring before the Lord the clergy, Alan Williams, the readers, Lynn Jenkins and Mary Phillips. We pray that the Lord will bless and lead and guide the ministry of Amble Code both now and in the future. We lift before the Lord the Diocese of Lucknow in India, Bishop Peter Baldev, and we pray that the Lord will bless and prosper that diocese. And recognize that for Christians in India, life has become more difficult under the BJP. And we pray that that process will be reversed and that the Lord will build his church and increase its numbers. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And Lord, here at home, we do think of those who are struggling with the economic situation, for those who are fearing for the future as much as challenged by the immediate present. Uh, Lord, pray particularly this week um, for, for those um, where half term presents challenges in and of itself. So, Lord, we pray for our children and young people uh, that uh, in their, uh, if they've got less to be doing, but... <laughs> that you will keep them safe, that you will draw them together in good groupings uh, and bless them. And Lord, we do pray for all that we're doing too. Uh, we give thanks for the, 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 the food festival over the weekend. We thank you for all those that gathered in that here in Redditch. And we pray for, for more gatherings as we come to celebrate the uh, Her Majesty's uh, Platinum Jubilee. Lord, may this be a time when we are drawn together in you and that the Queen's witness to you especially will be at the forefront of, of many celebrations over these coming days. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. So as we bring the week before the Lord, this very unusual week, mm -hmm. We pray that the Lord will lead and guide and bless us as we engage with the Platinum Jubilee, as we engage with um, Thy Kingdom Come Prayer, and as we engage with the um, Feast of Pentecost. Uh, and uh, of course, I'm sure all the vicars in the team will expect a, a birthday cake for the church. <laughs> <laughs> mm, thank you. And under. 
I'm, I'm sure we're all looking forward to that. Um, but there will actually be a, a very special service coming up, of course, which um, on Sunday evening with tea at five o'clock and the service at six o'clock, as we remember Pentecost and in the midst of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, let's not forget that even Her Majesty would concede that there is a greater celebration, which is the heavenly one that we will remember at Pentecost. Mm. God of compassion and love, by whose grace your servant Josephine Butler followed in the way of your son in caring for those in need. Help us like her to work with strength for the restoration of all to the dignity and freedom of those created in your image. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you very much indeed, Paul. Thank you. I did pop the link to resources for thy kingdom come into the notes for this. So if uh, if you're interested in looking into that further, please do. If it's something that you, is, you're going, oh, what's all that? Um, so over these coming uh, days, um, do be praying for those who you long to come to know Jesus more uh, as we as we enter into these days and there's still opportunity to to sign up uh for um the um for the 24 hours of prayer that we're in in into into the midst kind of going to be into the midst of shortly um just uh, message me here or or directly by other means if you want to uh to do that if you want to sign up for that um so yeah just drop me a note be good great excellent stuff um and uh I hope everybody has a good week. I'm expecting them to do so. Um, Elaine and I'll be here at five o'clock tonight, and then I'll be, I'll be with Gail um, at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Indeed you will. Have a great week, and uh, we look forward to joining with you in various ways. Bye-bye. There we go. The bell, I, the bell has rung for me, so there we are. Absolutely. Bye. <laughs> Bye for now, everybody. Bye.